Welcome to our step by step guide on installing the orange data mining tool. In this tutorial we will going to provide you with the simple instruction of successfully setting up the orange data mining tool on your laptop. Okay now we will going to install the orange software. So you can see that I will go to the download folder and from here I will going to install my orange software. Click on next agree install just for me and it will going to install the required packages and it will going to install the miniconda python 3.9 click on next next and if you go say space required is 503.2 mb and space available is 73.3 gb so make sure that when you are installing this software you have enough space available on your hard disk where uh, that means if you are you installing it in the c drive you should have uh, enough space because you will be installing the add-ons also okay just click on next click ok so once it has been installed the python mini conda will going to be installed and you can see it is a 64 bit setup click on next again do the i agree just for me it is a recommended next uh you can see that register miniconda is my default python 3.9 okay and you have add miniconda 3 to my python environment so select this one registered miniconda and just click on it so you can see that it will going to install the anaconda on your system and this is the mini anaconda uh, light version of our anaconda we will be waiting for it just to install it so it's also depend upon your configuration of your machine how much time it will going to take the install uh, time for the installation and even if you are having the sstd or you are having the sdd so it's depend upon the which type of uh, storage system you are using and of course the ram available on your system and it also depend upon the configuration so you can see that on my system it is taking the time because i'm installing it on the if i go to my property you can see that uh, my system is the intel i core 3 processor and the install ram is 6 gb and this is your window 10 click on next finish okay so it's saying that welcome to anaconda you have just successfully installed the anaconda just close it now it is installing the orange packages so you can see that some of the default packages are being installed on your system so it is saying downloading and extracting packages it will going to download the packages and will going to extract packages so you can see zero percent to the hundred percent that means downloading and then you are getting another hundred percent is that the package has been extracted successfully on your system it is also written there installing packages this might take a while okay so again it's depend upon your internet speed which you are having and a coin your system configuration we will wait for here for a few seconds and then we will going to see once it has been installed so now you can see that preparing transaction has been done now it is verifying the transactions now you can see that it has been completed click on next finish now you can see here you can find the shortcut of our orange now you can just click on this now you can see this logo will going to appear for the orange and it is the orange data mining version 3.36 you can see it first it was written as a data then it's saying visualization here you can see then it's saying model evaluate and supervise so all these things will going to come here the welcome screen come here from here you can go on the new if you want to open a new workflow you uh, can go for the open if you have already some workflow you can open it from it you can go for the recent you can also go on the video tutorial get started it will going to take you to the website some examples are there and then documentation so i'm just closing this and here you can see these are the some of the options available like file edit view visit windows option and help okay so first uh, if you see here the first tab button which you are seeing is the data so you can see that here if you click on this you can have a file here okay so we will not going to discuss this thing right now we are just explaining what the features are available on it okay so i'm just deleting it so you can import the csv file 
okay you can if you have some data set you can import that data set okay so you can load that data set from the online repository then you have a, a data uh, data in the form of some sql table so you can load the data set from the sql data tables point pain data data info ranks and many more okay so first one is your data second one is your transform suppose you have a data and you want to do the let's say you want to select particular rows or you want to select a particular columns or you want to transport the data okay so you can use a transpose function if you want have a two data and you want to merge the data you can use this function you can concatenate the data okay you can select the data by the indexes you can find the unique data by providing the some key attributes okay and there are a lot of things available in this so this is the transform then we have got a visualize if you want to draw the box plot you can use this box plot then you can see violin plot or these if you have seen the matplotlib all these things are available there okay violin plot is there scatter plot is there line plot is there bar plot is there okay everything is there you have to write a coding in there and it will going to give you the output but here what you can see that if you only drag it here okay the bar plot will be plotted for you okay so i'm just deleting it the next one is your models suppose you want to work on different different model like you want to apply a knn or you want to apply a random forest okay you want to apply a tree algorithms model you want to apply a support vector machine models oh, you want to like apply a linear regression model logistic regression navels base add a boost libraries okay so you can find that lot of models are over here even you can load your own models and even you can save your models okay so these are the models tab okay then we have got to evaluate okay so if you want to find out that what it is the accuracy of a system okay or what is the mean square error of the system so you can these are come under the evaluate function okay you want to plot a confusion matrix okay so or you want to go for the reason under the curve or you want to plot a roc or you want to go for the performance curve so these can be done with the help of a evaluate tab and if you have, are working on unsupervised so you have got a unsupervised model available okay then we have got some correlations functions for it we have to apply a let's say k-mean on it so you can use this all the function available here uh what else we can do is that if you go on to the windows and then if you go on to the option there is an add-on button okay so if you go here on add on button you will going to find that if you want to add some if you want to work on a bioinformatics okay so let's say i'm clicking on the bioinformatics okay so th this will going to provide you the everything which is related to the bioinformatics so these are the some of the software packages that are available which you can use suppose you want to work on a let's say image analytics so you can click on this image analytics okay if you want to work on a, some geo data so you can in insert this add-on okay so these add-on once let's say i'm going for the bioinformatics first so let's say if i'm clicking on the this bioinformatics and i click on install okay so it is saying installing orange 3 bioinformatics it will going to take some time and then you will going to find that here in this tab button which where we have got a data transform visualize model evaluate unsupervised you will going to find another tab button of a bioinformatics will going to come here okay so we are waiting for it to install so it's saying that orange need to be restarted for the change to take effect press ok to restart the orange now so i will going to click on ok bioinformatics now you can see a bioinformatics which we have installed is coming here so that means the bioinformatics has been installed successfully so here you can see now you are getting a bioinformatics tab available here so this these are the widgets which we are using again if you want to add on some other one like uh, in whichever area i can say you want to work you can select it okay so let's say i'm if you go further you can find world happiness text table tax survival analysis okay so let's say if i go on the geo and image analytics okay i can install this one also click on okay so you can see installing orange 3 geo again it will going to take some time and then you can install the image analytics okay so i'm crossing here you can use same step to install the other add-ons okay